And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Full Throttle. What a stinking mess. When we last left off, we were in quite a mess. Metaphorically and literally. Metaphorically because um, we are trying to catch up with Maureen. We went to the farm that she always went to when she was a child. Um, and she's we sort of found her, but um, she went away because she probably thinks that we have murdered her father. Yeah, we um, also um, have a slight problem with a certain bridge having collapsed um, and we are still being chased by Ripburger's goons. Um, so we have to consider our options. Okay, this is... These are the remains of the truck um, that exploded on the bridge. Um, yeah, something is that we look at. It's bolted on. Hmm. Well, we have some tool that we can probably use to unbolt it. Well, that's all of them. Can't be much holding that up now. Okay. Um, so we, we have removed the bolts. The truck has them pinned. But we can't remove the, the wheels, um, apparently. Can we enter the semi-trailer? Not exactly, um, but we could push it over, apparently, which I don't think uh, would work in real life. But maybe I'm just what yeah. a mess, and it's still a mess. Okay, so now we've flipped the thing over. Um, I've done my heavy lifting for the day. Hmm. So I guess we. Uh, we leave now? You know, I don't know why I just did that. But again, this is a point and click adventure game, so... You just do things, because... That's the thing you do. Okay, now we'll leave. Um, can I actually... Oh, I'm in control here. Actually. Uh, we cannot physically leave. Um, this place because, as I said, the bridge collapsed. So we have to find another way to. Uh, and who's that? Find the tour. I haven't seen you since you retired from the Polecats. Hey, Ben. How's my gang doing? Uh, that's a long story. Hey, that's the person who's also. Voicing um, Malcolm. Okay, anyway, uh, what are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? Well, retirement's pretty boring, Ben. So I thought I'd come out to the old mine road and look for trouble. You're picking fights? That's what the old mine road's for, son. Hmm. I need your help. Father Tork, I need your help. The gang's in jail and the law. Ben, I'm not the leader of the Polecats anymore. You are. Mm. Can't you see I'm on permanent vacation? Hmm. Okay. Can you give me any fighting tips then? Any fighting tips, Tork? Ah, Ben, who's tougher than you? Hmm. What's up with those cave fish? What's up with those cave fish, man? Watch out, Ben. They're not out here for sport. They hijack big rigs. It's part of their religion. Don't get in their way. They're blind, cold-hearted killers. That's the um, strange humanoid creatures that made the truck explode last time. Okay, how do, do they ride if they are blind? How do the cave fish ride if they're blind? 
Well, they're only blind because they wear those special goggles to shield their sensitive cave-dwelling eyes. Hmm. Special sensors in the goggles pick up the dots in the road and other large objects and landmarks to help them navigate. <laughs> kind of trippy, huh? Hmm, large dots. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Those rod wheelers are ugly mothers. They're none too bright either. I'm sure you can handle them. I think we can. The vultures are quick, and they're nuts. The ones with those boosters are hard to whip. Just remember, Ben, it's not about muscle, it's about timing. Hmm. Okay, how do we get around Poyahoga Gorge? You know any way around Poyahoga Gorge? Around it? <laughs> it's miles and miles long, Ben. What's the matter? Don't like bridges? It blew up. Ooh, sorry I missed that. Well, you could jump it, like Ricky Myron. Cave fish got its ramp in their hideout, you know. Hmm. Where's this hideout? Where is the cave fish hideout exactly? Somewhere on this road. The entrance is totally invisible unless you got those weird cave fish specks. Can't talk anymore, Ben. Eating too many bugs. Well, take it <laughs> easy, Father. Give him hell, Polecat. Yeah, give him hell. We have to find an invisible entrance. Um, question is, yeah, how to get those goggles? Um, we saw one of the cavefish actually, um, if not died, and at least have an accident um, during the chase. Uh, during the chasing of the truck driver, so maybe there's. We can find some remains of uh, one of the cavefish on the road. Uh, hmm. Or maybe we can attract the cavefish somehow. So we've heard that they are attracted by dots on the road, by large objects. Look at him run. How about we make you crash into that fertilizer? This one she worked on with her father. It's an emotional thing. Don't try to understand. Now hurry. Hmm. And again, I didn't understand what was said in the cutscene because the yeah, that's the that's the only thing that's really annoying about this game that the sound levels are not right for Rip Burger. He just. He talks in such a low volume that it's just very hard to understand what he says. Okay, Ed. He said something about um, setting up a trap. Hmm, a picture. Professor Schmetterling's experimental flying suit. <laughs> Professor Schmetterling? What? Nah, that's federal property, I think. One of the gorge's many casualties. Hmm. Ricky Myron's infamous gorge jump. This is the last picture ever taken of Professor Schmetterling. Notice, jumping the Poyahoga Gorge, although tempting, is highly illegal and dangerous. 
We recommend the recently constructed Boyahoga Gorge Bridge for transgorge travel. Drive safely. Hmm. Okay, who wants to bet that we are going to cross the Poyahoga Gorge? In Professor Schmetterling's um suit. Tightrope walkers, hang gliders, human cannonballs. Many have tried to cross the mighty Poyahoga Gorge, and many have failed. Except for Ricky Myron, the flying torch, who jumped the gorge on a stock Corley motorcycle. It was later uncovered that he had modified his Corley with a pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster and an automotive hover lift. Myron said he would gladly replicate the jump to clear his name, but his special ramp was stolen by a mysterious truck hijacking motorcycle gang. Hmm. Recoil booster and a hover lift, eh? Thanks for the tip, Rick. You're right, though. I'll need that ramp. Okay, we need a ramp, uh, a recoil booster, and a hover device. Um, hmm. There was also something else that was kind of this. Okay, that's nothing, apparently. Hmm. Not on foot. Can we look at the bridge? Something tells me the bridge is out. Uh, how do you know, Ben? And that's the gorgeous god. What's he got that I ain't got? Except for a recoil booster, a hover lift, and a silly looking ramp with Dago flames painted on it. Hmm. Okay, we need to look for all the mentioned things, so we shall get probably on the way back. Um, we know for a fact that the car of Ripburger has a hover device. Actually, it's not Ripburger's car, but Malcolm's car. And I didn't want to do that, actually. Stop, stop it, Ben. Hmm. I don't know if the uh, car that um, Ripburger's goons were driving actually had a hover hover device. I don't think so, actually. Ah, I missed that. You can actually drive back. Um, yeah, let's stop at the cross, the crash side. Sorry, not cr cross side. Is there a hover device that we can steal? Never needed. Hmm. Oh, a hovercraft. I don't touch anything without wheels. Uh oh. Is this the I don't touch anything without mm. wheels. Hmm. That's trashed. I don't know what I just did there, but I don't touch anything without wheels. Hmm. It's a single it's a single hover lift unit. Oh, we actually already extracted. Okay. So, uh, yeah. When we come back, folks, we shall look then for a recoil booster and the ram that was stolen by the cavefish. 
So until next time folks, until then.